Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of React and Node.js series, we will learn that how we can handle token in React.js. I hope you remember that in last video, uh, we set up the JW token in the Node.js and we generate the token with the login and registration API. So now we will handle and get this token in the React.js and we will store it in the local storage. Then I will just give you the example that how we can send this token to the another api also so let's start with the first point so uh, now whenever we are trying to log in because uh, till now we are not handled the token and we are just working with the previous uh, response so maybe you will just find that uh, the response is a little bit uh, changed so we'll handle that also right so what i'm just going to do here i'm just trying to log in with the anil at the rate test.com and I am entering ABC at the rate one two three password. Whenever I will just try to log in, it will just give an error that please enter the correct detail. So whenever I am just checking the API, that uh, result is fine, but there is a one more key which is the auth. And now our response actually just uh, come underside the user object. So if I am just checking with the login component last time i was getting the name and id and uh, uh, email directly inside the result so now i'm just getting them with the uh, user so we can just check the name or if you want to uh, uh, users dot uh, sorry result dot user dot name or you can directly check the auth because auth will only generate when user is uh, uh, logged in properly right and after that we have to store the user dot result inside the uh, user local storage and we need to store one more point which is a uh, token so i just provide here auth right so now let's try to log in and now you can see that anil is logged in properly there is a no issue and if you want to check our local storage this is still working fine token and auth both are there so we can do the same thing with the uh, sign up api also so let's try to sign up with another user and let's see what we are getting here so let's say i want to sign up with the lee and uh, email is lee at the rate test.com and password is lee at the rate uh, abc okay that is abc at the rate one two three actually right so now you can see that uh, user is logged in but there is a issue uh, in a user we stored the result with the result key that is not correct second thing uh, inside the logged out we must have a username this is also not coming because uh, this actually changed with the result right and if i just check the network you can see that in the registration we got the result inside the result and auth token also to handle both of them what we need to do here we have to use here result dot result and uh, then store the token also and token will become inside the auth right so now let's try with the another user so let me add here kim at the rate test.com and we can use password abc at the rate one two three and that is working fine and uh, we can check that application is also working fine right so now let's see how we can send it uh, to any api so let's open here product list and here we have a product list api so we can use here second parameter headers and inside the headers we can send the authorization authorization i can just show you on the postman here you can see that we have to send that key uh, inside the header so we don't need to just capital a let's simply use a small look uh, authorization and we have to convert this token to the uh, uh, you can say that in a json format so json dot uh, parse and here we can put here local storage dot get item and let's put here token and now if i'm just uh, trying to log in again 
uh, because we don't need to uh, log in again if we just try to check our product api again uh, let me just check with the network tab and now you will find that in a header headers we are sending the authorization key also so with that way we can handle the authorization key and one more point we have to verify this token in the backend that we'll do in the next video so that uh, uh, without any token uh, without token any api should not work right so that thing we will do in the next video thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and provide your feedback in comment section thank you so much